A lot to get to, but first to a different incident involving an elementary school student. And deputies say a student attacked a school bus attendant this morning. Now it happened around 730 this morning on Central Avenue in Lake Wales. Our Phil Buck looked into what happened. He's still on this story right now because the bigger question tonight is this a sign of a larger problem for area schools? Well, the bus has students on it that attend both Ben Hill Griffin Elementary and Frostproof Elementary. We don't know which of those schools the student involved attends, but what we do know is the Polk County Sheriff's Office was called and the bus attendant involved was taken to a local hospital with injuries that were not life threatening. According to the Sheriff's Office, the 12 year old involved was Baker acted after the attack. They're reviewing the video from on board the bus to see if the kid maliciously intended to hurt the bus attendant. Meanwhile, one parent I spoke with wasn't surprised to hear about the incident. She claims there's a consistent problem. The buses are bad. I recommend to not ride them, period. I do not let my kids ride them and I will never let them ride them again. Amanda Croft has two kids. Each goes to a different elementary school in Frostproof. The bus is so bad around here. They're overstocked with kids. There's so many older kids picking on the younger kids and the bus drivers are the same bus drivers for the last 20 years. In a statement emailed to 10 News, Polk County Schools said, quote, we greatly value our bus drivers and bus attendants and appreciate all they do to safely transport our students to school. They have a very difficult job and they deserve respect. We cooperate with law enforcement whenever a student is accused of harming them. And bus attendants aren't the only school employees under attack. In November, our 10 Investigate series Classrooms in Crisis uncovered a disturbing trend of school employees being attacked on school property. 10 Investigates discovered Polk County is the only local school district that does not track employee injuries by students. You can watch our full report at WTSP.com or on our 10 News app.